Hello, my name is uh, Niegoś Dube. I live in Warsaw, Poland. Um, I am a member of the Polish uh, Humanist Association, and I am also an Esperantist and a member of the Atheist Worldwide Esperanto Organization. Uh, and in fact, I am the uh, editor of that organization's bulletin called Ateismo. Um, I have been invited by Andrzej Dominiczak, president of the Polish Humanist Association, to speak about um, a unique uh, Polish Jewish figure of the 19th century and the early 20th century, Ludwig uh, Zamenhof, um, who is best known as the inventor of Esperanto, the language of this bulletin. Um, Esperanto was uh, developed as an uh, international language. Um, many people do not have heard about Esperanto, but probably few people know about Zamenhof, the inventor of Esperanto. Um, he is, of course, uh, he was born in Poland, and so he's quite well known, I think, in, in Poland itself. There are streets in many cities named for Zamenhof, including here in, in Warsaw. Um, let me start with the end of Zamenhof's life, because uh, this year is uh, the 100th anniversary of Zamenhof's death. Um, in April 19, uh, 1917, and he uh, died at a relatively young age uh, of 57. Um, this year, on the exact anniversary of his death, on April 14th, the Polish parliament, the same, um, paid homage uh, to Zamenhof. Um, they had a moment of silence, and also they adopted a resolution by unanimous acclamation, honoring uh, Zamenhof. So he is uh, generally considered in Poland uh, as an important uh, a part of uh, Polish uh, history and an important uh, uh, Polish personality. Um, I would like to first uh, give a brief um, overview of his life and then um, talk about his, um, his ideas and contributions. Um, he was born in 1859 in Białystok, Poland, uh, which is in the northeast part of the country. Um, at that time, it was part of the Russian Empire, as was Warsaw and most of uh, Poland. Um, Białystok was a multi-ethnic, multi-religious, multi-lingual um, city. There were Russians, Germans, Poles, Jews, and uh, some other nationalities living in the, in the city. Um, when uh, Zamenhof was growing up, he witnessed a lot of conflict between these groups. Um, there were clashes in the streets, um, there were often tensions, bad relations between them, and this had a big uh, impact on him and um, eventually led him to develop uh, Esperanto. I'll talk about that in, in just a couple of minutes. He lived in Białystok until he was 14 when his parents moved to Warsaw, uh, where I am right now. And this was in 1873. Uh, when he came to Warsaw, he continued his uh, studies in high school or gymnasium, as it's called in Poland. And in about 1875, uh, when he was around uh, 16 years old, he began working on his own language. He, he got the idea that one way to help solve conflicts between ethnic groups of the type that he observed in Bialystok was for them to have a common neutral language. And so this became his mission at the time. And he began uh, working on this la language and this, in, in this effort, he was helped by his own knowledge of languages. Um, 